In this episode, Curiosity finds what looks like a Martian flower, finally reaches the start of the ancient river channel, and finds flaky rocks that look almost identical to rocks from streams or rivers here on Earth. After a short solar conjunction, the rover is back online and looking at some strange nodules on the ground. They are seen in abundance in this area, and the team orders Curiosity to crush some using its wheels. The crushing doesn't go entirely as planned, but reveals a shiny substance within the rock. The rocks seem to be getting harder than those seen in the clay bearing unit. The rover is making good progress and coming up to a small passageway between the green hue pediment and another big outcrop. This is given the name Maria Gordon Notch. Curiosity took this image on Sol 3299, and it's been described as a picture postcard from Mars. It shows the path back down Mount Sharp, and Rafael Navarro Mountain could be seen on the right. Curiosity takes a selfie on the way to Maria Gordon Notch. The rover will now pass through. On the way through, the rover takes this incredible mosaic. This could be the best image ever taken on Mars. The overhanging ledge, the abundance of mineral veins, and some strange features all make this outcrop very interesting. Just look at this huge vein. It's resisted erosion while the surrounding rock has been slowly consumed by many years of water or wind action. At the top of the outcrop, there are some strange looking nodules. Why is it that these nodules only appear on top of the structure? Could it be possible that the area was once a flowing river and those nodules couldn't form under the intense water pressure? Curiosity would love to stay here a little while longer, but it has a mountain to climb. On Sol 3325, more clouds are observed in the Martian sky. You can see their shadows rolling across the landscape. This series of images shows the view directly above the rover. On Sol 3396, Curiosity finds what some people are describing as a Martian flower. Before we investigate, here's a quick message from our sponsor. If you've made it this far, you'll know that Henson Shaving has sponsored this entire series. We'd like to thank all of you who have purchased a razor and changed the way you shave for the better. If you've enjoyed this series but not yet got yourself one, buying a razor is one of the best things you can do to support this channel and to support our ongoing coverage of the Curiosity Rover. The product is truly revolutionary, sustainable, cost-effective, and built with precision. Henson Shaving strives to make shaving a pleasant experience. It shouldn't feel like a chore. Purchasing a Henson razor could solve many issues you currently face. Your skin may feel smoother after shaving. You won't have to mess around unclogging hairs thanks to the built-in water channels. You'll be reducing your carbon footprint. You could be reducing the amount you spend. You may avoid the worry of continually stocking up on disposable razors. All this and more is possible with a Henson razor. To claim 100 free replacement blades with your razor purchase, just go through the link in the description or enter the code ELDERFOX at checkout. This strange object is smaller than a coin and is covered by a thick layer of Martian dust. At first glance, it looks like a plant. However, NASA believes this to simply be a cluster of mineral veins left over after the host rock completely eroded. We don't often see formations like this on Earth due to the higher gravity and denser atmosphere. On Sol 3415, Curiosity decides to once again climb up on top of the green hue pediment. The rover takes this mosaic at the top, 
But there's a problem. The top of green hue is littered with what scientists are calling gator-back rocks, which could damage Curiosity's wheels. The rover will have to get back down and find another way into the river channel. This view of green hue shows a sloping landscape in comparison to the level layers of the outcrops in the distance. Could green hue have been an ancient slope into water? The rover takes a closer look at these sharp rocks before descending once again. This is the second time the rover has climbed and then had to descend from the green hue pediment. On Sol 3492, the rover comes across some flaky rocks that look almost identical to some rocks back here on Earth created by streams and rivers. On its 10th birthday, the rover sits here, at the start of the Geddes Vallis Channel. Its journey has been incredible. Curiosity has driven 17 miles, or 28 kilometers. Curiosity has acquired almost half a million images, transmitted 31 terabytes of data, climbed more than 2,000 feet, or 612 meters, and its findings have given way to 883 academic papers. The rover has proved beyond all reasonable doubt that water was once prevalent on Mars, and not just acidic water, but fresh water suitable for the creation of life as we know it. Curiosity has well outlasted its primary mission and will continue to roam the Martian surface for many years to come, until the failing of its final instrument. A newer generation of rover is already on the Martian surface, called Perseverance, doing everything that Curiosity could and more. The inclusion of a microphone for capturing Martian sounds, a helicopter to scout ahead, and higher quality cameras all make Perseverance the superior mission. But does it have the Curiosity to continue? Click here to see our series on the Perseverance rover, to see if it will in fact outlast Curiosity. Thanks for watching Elder Fox. Please share this series with anyone who doubts that Mars once had liquid water.